Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about senior developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, when can I start calling myself a senior developer? Well, you can probably start immediately if you wanted to, uh, but it's probably not going to net you all that much. You see, the thing is that the term senior developer is pretty loose. It's loose because it's a subjective definition that really comes down to what is the collective understanding in your region usually, and not even in some cases your region, it might actually be at that specific company. What is our value system? Who like uh, and usually it comes in many cases it just comes down to management like uh, the people who are hiring people or like the they base uh, seniority on some arbitrary either amount of years or skill level in some cases but usually it's years in some cases they can make a really fine grained distinction between different roles or oh, you're a senior if an example I've heard everything from that uh, you are a senior software developer. A senior Android actually senior Android developer if you've been working for three years because the platform is quote-unquote so small that that's all it takes to be a senior cool uh, clearly the that definition uh, that definition differs from my own but I mean I I'm not hiring for that company so if you're gonna pay me the same sort of money after three years as I would expect someone, because in another company I've been, uh, I've, uh, I've been part of the hiring process, they said that well, not you know, we don't really consider anybody with less than ten years. So in some case, and in the extreme case, it was fifteen years to be a senior, because you can't really learn the entire industry in uh, in less amount uh, less amount of time. And sure, I can agree, and I can say that sure, that sounds like a sort of reasonable uh, argument, because I mean, what. What do you mean when you say senior? Does it mean that you just know how all the tools work, or do you mean that you actually know how to run the show? Do you mean that you have the experience to basically guarantee success for a product if you inc are included? Well, in that case, it really comes down to quality of the person as well. I've worked with some senior developers who have been working for 15 years, and they are not able to take charge. They're not able to even guarantee that the product that they are working on is going to be delivered in a sustainable way. They actually need direction. They're basically very, very, very skilled code monkeys or mid-level developers. They're not bad, they're good people and they know how to do things, but their personality is simply not the sort of personality that you require in order to make a success of the product. And that's why the, the term senior developer is so loose. So what I will just give you as a baseline is going to be that the minimum usually time people think of you as sort of eligible for being a senior is around five years. That is roughly the time when you can start thinking about adding that to your CV or like saying that you're a senior software developer. And it really comes down to, as I was saying, a subjective definition based on a lot of, uh, a lot of different factors. And the dangerous part, at least from my perspective, I mean, there is a benefit. If you say senior software developer on your CV, people will look at you differently. But at the same time, you need to fulfill their subjective requirements on what is a senior software developer. Because if you say yeah, that you're a senior after one year, very few people are going to believe you. And the thing about trying to oversell how good you are or how experienced you are or being mis even if you don't intend to, if there's a mismatch between what you're saying that you are and what people think that thing is, there's like there's not um, there's going to be unaligned well unaligned uh, expectations and that's going to end poorly usually for you because if you come in and say that you're a senior and you code like you're a junior developer they're going to go what the fuck this person is not a senior what are you saying this is not a senior at all and so I, if you want to just be on the safe side just say software developer just call yourself a software developer because that way they can make their own distinction if you're a senior, if you're a junior or whatever you are and they can just categorize you yourself. You know roughly what your value is, you know roughly what the sort of what sort of 
money you can expect and like what you have in terms of requirements of your position and things like that. I mean, it's at the end of the day, guys, it's just a title and titles, unfortunately, it does have a factor. It does play a factor, but it's not the whole thing. You are still in full control if you're going to take the offer, or if you're going to turn it down or whatever. And the fact of the matter is the thing that is best to indicate uh, the best proof that you have to indicate your seniority level is number one your CV that's the first step at the very least and number two is how do you hold conversations and how do you code like what pro like a, how like a, what level of experience do you actually have and what the quality of that experience is is probably the most distinguishing feature of whether or not you're a senior or not because I can tell you right now I work with people who have been working for 15 years who have the years to show that they are senior developers and in some cases you can see it in the code they're pretty good but when they hold the conversation and you talk to them like you can't really you can't really get a good vibe if they're a senior or not you kind of have to test them to figure out if they're a senior and then you have people who have been working for five years who are like there's no doubt their personal development is through the roof they are seniors in the sense that they can really really produce well working software and what even more telling they can hold a conversation like a fucking pro if they you you put them in the meeting they will ask all the right questions they will have the right mindset they will know the lingo they will know all of these sorts of things sure you can fake that sort of thing for a while but at the end of the day it's actually if you have somebody else who's listening and actually knows their stuff as well it's probably it's practically impossible for you uh, to do that uh, for an extended period of time. You can't really bullshit yourself through being a software developer if you have other software developers who know their stuff around. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to call yourself a senior you can do that immediately but it's a risk I would say. It's a risk for you unless you have at the bare minimum I would say around five years uh, because that's roughly the amount of time it's going to take you to both master the skills that you need in order to like do produced in, in a technical capacity and at the same time have enough of an understanding of how you do work at a serious level in IT how the industry works and how like how stakeholders behave and like what are the value systems how do you speak the lingo all that stuff it takes around five years in some cases it can take 10 years 15 years so forth but at the very least five years is roughly that amount of time that's where you can start doing that sort of thing if you want to just be on the safe side just say software developer because even if you just say software developer people are going to look at your cv and see that you have been working for this and that amount of time and they will go well actually yeah he's a software developer but you know he's actually a very senior profile the senior thing, like they will, they will understand the senior part without you telling them. The risk you might run if you say senior is that you might sec set uh, uh, the imp improper expectations because in one company they think that a senior is somebody who has 15 years of experience and basically knows how to run the entire company. In another company they just think that you've read enough documentation so that you don't fuck up all the time and the range varies and the entire definition of what a junior is, a mid-level and a senior developer is, is a subjective understanding of the collective industry and each region can differ and each company can differ somewhat to what we say, what we mean when we say senior software developer. Have a great day!